that was just my thing. I kind of just wanted to like tell my story and tell my piece because a lot of people can uh, assume Storm things, and but I I actually saw Storm and heard, you know, what I heard and saw what I saw. So, well, what's a what, what's a little bit of what you saw? Well, like I said, I I seen um I seen him and her like the 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 cast was on a, a break, like a thirty minute break. Or like a like lunch or something, and I was on a phone call outside, and I heard um, it was just me, Cassie and Diddy, and I was like st- I was like standing to the side like on my phone call, and I just heard them arguing, and he was you know somebody talk when they grit their teeth together and they like like you put to where it's down like you know like that kind of grit their teeth, uh, I was like seeing him being a real aggressive toward her, and I'm like damn. And then I see her pull her on away, you know, and I'm just like, damn, what's, what's going on? Like, and then the whole time, um, she kept like wiping her nose. Like she kept wiping her nose. I don't know if he had it hit her nose or if something was in her nose, but the whole time she just kept kind of, and it's funny, it was so, so long ago, I seen, uh, I had pictures. I took some pictures, but God knows where those pictures are. Um, but I have the one that I have that I sent to you and I made it into a little collage. Um, but yeah, I've seen them arguing. I've seen them, you know, grabbing on her and her pulling her arm away because they're, you know, they're kind of like in a, a intimate setting. They're outside. She, in the video with Lil Wayne, she's, she's in a, a Bugatti. This was right around the time when they was filming that scene and she was sitting in the driver's seat and he was standing right outside the door. Like the door was open and he was like standing in the doorway. And I'm like, damn, but I never, clearly never thought to record nothing, but I did get my pictures, you feel me? So uh, I just thought that was real bad. And then to kind of listen to you and a few other bloggers break down the footage um, of the um, the lawsuit and all these horrible things that she endured. So those things that I've seen was just a black a, a cakewalk because he did much more behind closed doors, like in their own private setting. So that was kind of, kind of, uh, that kind of concerned me when I saw that. And then the next day is when Lauren London came to hang out with um, with uh, Kathy, that's her best friend. So I, I kind of seen them talking, and you gotta understand, I was doing her hair, so. The, the hairstylist is just doing the hair that quiet. If, if she have a conversation with Lauren, they ain't paying me no attention because I'm just the hairstylist. Right. But the hairstylist, but the hairstylist get an ear full yes. and an eye full. You feel what I'm saying? Yes. Even on these reality shows, when you see the person, the stylist, they don't never say nothing, but they get to hear and see everything. So um, I don't know if you, you know what you would want to do with this information or or anything, but I did feel like I wanted to reach out to a few people to kind of share my story and just kind of just validate what I saw with my own eyes and ears in person, being that I was hired to work for that actual video, you know? Yeah, and you and you were right there, so you can <clears throat> back up um, not all of her claims, but at least some of her claims. Yeah, some of the claims, I just, I just seen the aggressiveness, and uh, it was uh, a few people on the set that were trying to holler at her, just trying to, I don't know if they're trying to holler, like to be with her, trying to get with her, but just, you know, people wanted to say hello, or, and he wasn't having none of that. <laughs> oh, wow. He wasn't having yeah, he wouldn't have none of that. It's Every time shot. somebody uh, uh, remotely try to shot. come around, it's either his security or him. They're like, oh, she not, she not, she not holding no conversation. Like he was speaking for her, and he was backing, he was, like turning people away left and right. You know, so she pretty much. That's why I said Lauren London came because he wouldn't let nobody on the set talk to her. He was pretty much protecting her and and blocking anybody from. Uh, now, I must say, he did treat me nice because I'm a hairstylist. <laughs> I'm right there. I'm the nigga that's silking her hair out, you know what I'm saying? So, fixing her clothes and stuff like that. So, he was asking me, like, did you get a lot? Did you get dinner? Like, he was really nice to me, but he wasn't um, so nice to everybody else. And it was sad, you know, how the things that she had to go through on the set. You know, crying, didn't have to get her makeup and stuff, you know, pretty much. 
uh, fix and stuff because she was, the tears and stuff had to get her makeup, you know, kind of re reapplied. Did you see him hit her at all? He grabbed her. He was he was grabbing her, and she kept she was pulling away, like you know how somebody pull away and like swing their arm out like yeah nah, like that. So I mean we, we are in public, so he can do what he would do with behind closed doors. But when I watched your uh, live last night and you were reading about um, all the uh, abuse she had endured, it, it didn't take nothing for me to feel like yeah. So what I saw. Was just a just just a little bit of some something can compare to what he does behind closed doors, you know. And I I heard him saying like, didn't 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 Daddy do everything that you need? Didn't I get you? Didn't I get you a a, a, a hit single? Didn't I get Lil Wayne on this on this song? Like like they were really having a intimate conversation, and I was really like low key. I'm gonna be honest. I was just being no. <laughs> yeah, I mean you're there. Yeah. I'm there, I'm being, I'm, I, I hear some rip I want to know what the hell's going on, but without saying anything, you know, but this is the thing, I never thought I would even bring this up again, because I'm at a video shoot, like this, I ain't thinking this, this, this ain't, this ain't that, like, you know what I'm saying, this wasn't last month, this wasn't two years ago, this is, this is a while back, but you can look at the outfits that she had on, the picture of me and her, you can look at the outfit and then look at the video, and it was it was right in the middle of taping because that's one of the outfits she wore in the beginning, mid part of the video. Then when Lil Wayne came on, she changed clothes. But you'll see that outfit, the white top with her belly, showing her belly or whatever the case might be. So yeah, so it was just it was just a moment. Um, I I thought that was very interesting. So let me let me just 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 make sure I got everything. So you was the hairstylist for for Cassie. You was on set for two days. And uh -huh. was it was this shot in Miami? It looks like Miami. No, it was downtown LA. I, oh, you can ask me. It's good. I, I'm glad that you're doing this because you can ask me specific questions like where we were. We were downtown LA. Yeah, they. Uh, you know, videos can make it appear to look like whatever the case may be, but um, downtown Story LA got show. a lot of nice looking Story views show. and stuff. So they, um, the whole video was filmed downtown. Okay, so. So it was it was it was filmed downtown, and then your job was just to do her hair, right? Yeah, with her hair, and it was only like it was. If you look at the video, it's very few extras. It's not no bunch of women. It's a few women that were in a scene that was uh, like uh, an office scene. We had kind of people walking in the background, but it was mainly just her and like two or three other women that were extras. Okay. Yep. And I see. And I see the Bugatti right here. Oh, how was how, how was Little Wayne on set? Anything crazy with him? No, it was nothing crazy with Little Wayne. But guess what? Diddy was not letting them interact. Really? He was not letting them interact. Uh, if you notice, just hypothetically, if you notice, why Diddy ain't got never did no song with Wayne? That's a good question. You know what I'm saying? That's a good question. I always wonder, I'm like, damn, why Wayne don't work with every fucking body? Why he ain't did no song with Diddy? Because he wasn't checking for Diddy uh on the set. Uh he wasn't he wasn't they, the chemistry and the energy of buddies or hanging out. Um, cause uh it was more business for Cassie to get Wayne as a feature because he was hot at the time. So um, but yeah, um when they did that scene together, you know, Diddy was right there. He was right there, like, nigga, don't be trying to touch on her, don't be trying to do nothing extra, like, I'm right here. And so when they would cut, he'll walk up, like, he'll walk up to Cassie and wow. kind of interact with her and stuff to block Wayne from saying something. So I kind of thought that was, I, and I tripped off of this when I did the video. I'm like, uh, Diddy ain't letting because you wouldn't let nobody get near her. Nobody, nobody could get near her. So yeah, that's uh, why. And, and and even when I look at the scene with Wayne and Cassie together, they're very far apart. Storm show. Uh, hello. <laughs> Storm <laughs> they show. One little part they were kind of like a little close to each other, like side by side. But like a lot of times when it's a male and female, they want the male and female to interact. They even try to convince the viewing audience. They could have something going on, like you know, just for the sake of the video, you know. Yeah. But nah, it was just like just the homegirl type of thing. 
Damn. Okay. Now, how was Cassie as a person? Like, how did she treat you on set? She and Lauren London, bro, sweet as pie. Cassie do not. The reason I feel I would never speak up and say nothing about nothing. Like, I don't care who or what it was. I, I just, I ain't, I ain't into that like that. But this, uh, I felt like being a, her and Lauren London was so sweet. Like just really, you can tell they really it's nice so girls. Like, and what reason so would so Cassie so. have to be a bitch or to be mean or to be? I mean, just so lovely, so beautiful, and just soft spoken, and just he really took control of her. You got to remember, the girl was nineteen years old. Yeah, yeah. She didn't. She was really young. She didn't have a chance. She didn't have a chance dealing with somebody like that. No. She come on. This this nigga is from New York, thirty seven years old. He's like much older, and you could tell that he he groomed her because he still was doing it with, dealing with Lori Harvey and 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 Carisha, different people that he dealt with. He go for the younger ones. He's like, oh, look, I got money, I got power, and I know how to manipulate. Like, what more do you want? Like, you feel me? So uh, that's what I believe, and that's what I saw, you know. And I was like, damn. And I I dare not say nothing about what was what I heard and saw as far as them personally because I mean I, I, that's not my business. You know, I'm I'm there to do hair. But Cassie was definitely super sweet and uh Lauren London. They were very, very nice. Gotcha. Gotcha. And he didn't and, and did it didn't let nobody talk to Cassie, didn't let no man get close to it, just mm-hmm. controlled her. No, no sir Bob. <laughs> uh and I what's funny, I kind of feel him. Like you gotta because when I was on the set, I was adoring her. I was like, this chick, this girl is fine. Like, this girl is beautiful. You hadn't seen a beauty like Cassie since Aaliyah. Like, that's to be real. You really hadn't seen a girl that was that pretty in a long time. You know what I'm saying? So when he got her, he was still dealing with Kim Porter. Like, he, But he didn't care. He had to have Cassie. And I feel him because she's beautiful. But um, I don't feel the manipulation and the... The abuse and the drugs and the, the the mind fuckery and all that—I don't feel that. But um, like I said, he wasn't rude to me because I'm—I am working. I was working, but that don't excuse his behavior. You know what I'm saying? No, absolutely, a- absolutely. Okay, so you so you saw him. You saw them argue. You saw him get aggressive with her. She was crying on set a lot, and you said her nose kept running, or she kept wiping her nose. She kept wiping her nose, and I—I I don't, I, I don't know if that was like her um like the cool you know when you cry you do your nose do run so i think that was kind of i don't want to put no drug thing on her because i really don't know that but i do know she kept messing with her nose like the whole time they were like talking they were talking then it got kind of aggressive and then she started crying and then she still was just kind of wiping her nose like wiping her using her hand to wipe her tears but then wiping her nose like back and forth and i was like that was kind of strange but it was so much going on, I was just catching everything. That you could. And you gotta remember, it was just me, him, and her. Like, so it wasn't nobody around. It was lunch time. Everybody was having lunch. But meanwhile, I was being nosy. <laughs> mm. Meanwhile, I was being nosy, yeah. I remember after I after I left them, I went and kind of grabbed something and it only had like five minutes to eat because I spent most of my time hanging out with them, trying to get pictures and 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 be nosy. So yeah, and I see the picture here you got with Lauren London, Cassie. See the picture you took with Diddy as well. Yeah, uh-huh. okay. they were all separate pictures, and I just made them into one collage. And I did that months ago. Just because I do a lot of, I do a lot of so celebrities so. here. Like I can send you a ton of pictures so with me so. and all kind of celebrities because I um I'm from LA and I've I've been working in the industry for a minute, whether it's musically or whether it's um being a hairstylist. Okay, nice, nice. Let me ask you this, is it do you do you see uh do you see it often on set with these young girls and they have like basically older handlers? I do. I do. I see I'm from LA so just Industry wise and just in regular life storm, I see you gotta understand I've been doing hair since I was fourteen. Born and raised in LA, been doing hair since I was fourteen. Bro, I'm fifty two. Mm. I done done a, I done touched a lot of holes here. <laughs> and I give great advice. Um, I give great advice because 
I've been through a lot myself, but at the same time, um, all these clients that been sitting in my chair, they tell me about their boyfriends and about their side pieces and their side niggas. And like, I just hear it all. I got so many stories and I tell my girls, um, I tell them, for, this is what I tell every girl that I care about. I say, look, I started off like this. I say, first of all, don't be no dumb bitch. <laughs> mm. Don't be no dumb bitch. Like, don't be doing stupid shit for these niggas. Don't be letting a nigga hit on you, touch on you, uh, abuse you, uh, try to control your mind. Like, because I got, I be having beautiful girls sit in my chair, whether they in the industry or not. They be beautiful girls, and they be lost for all. That's why they're so easily manipulated because and and got low self esteem. How you beautiful got ass, titties, like body, beautiful teeth, like you just long hair, whether it's a weave or not, you're just a beautiful girl, but you feel ugly and you feel less than because you let this man manipulate you and make you feel like don't nobody wants your ass for me. Wow. So what I do when somebody sit in my chair, I mean if you wanna really if you wanna really uh, kinda get to know me and validate what I'm saying. You can go on, you can go on any like Instagram or Facebook and look at my, look at just look at my hair page and all. I don't got nothing but beautiful girls. I'm um, you go back years, scroll for years, and all my chicks is just bad. Whether they industry celebrities or not, I deal with a lot of beautiful women and I love them, and I try to give them good advice. While we sitting there for two or three hours doing doing whatever we doing to the hair, I'm giving them good advice. So I'm not only a hairstylist, I'm somewhat of like a confidant and a and like a motivator for the most part. Uh, it's storm show. Hey, it's storm show.